Hi, welcome to this tutorial. The topic is the config file of i3. It's a lot of uh, lines you need to read and let's go into the big uh, chapters of it. This is just here for reference sake for later. So we're on Arch Merged. We made articles for i3 and next up is uh, Arch Merged XFCE. So 18 and it's gonna be number 19. So let's take a look at our special folder. Our special folder is the one in your home directory, .config i3. That's the one that rules your i3 and specifically this one, the .config file, of the config file better. Let's go over the titles. I mean, I've made it, uh, um, well, a structure. I made a structure for you to figure out what everything is, how everything is written, that the mod key is the Windows key, the super key, or the mod 4 key, it's all the same. And um, you can uh, change or make new shortcuts using these names here. So that's the convention of naming uh, the keys. How are the keys named to, to make shortcuts? So you can choose, choose a better is uh, uh, choose your super key, your uh, Windows key to be the mod 4 one, or you can choose the mod, choose the mod 1. Voila. It's still early in the morning, sorry for my uh, mispronunciations here. So, uh, one of the first things, maybe, but that's only for the guys who have dual screens, is to figure out what goes to the right and what goes to the left. And that's here, you can say which workspace goes on which monitor, and you have to set the variable up here with this line of code. Use a render, use x render, use the tool from XFCE as well as possible to set the display manager via the XFCE settings. So it's all good. So that's this one, moving around your workspaces. There are five menus, but um, I have to change that because there are not five menus. There is one, two, and there's number three. So reminder, Eric, change that because Rofi is Rofi of Rofi is not included anymore. So if you want it, the key bind is here. You just have to install it. Then how to exit, log out and log off and all that. Yeah, that's quite important. So this is uh, described here. We are using actually a script that's uh, that's needed. So you need a folder, you need a script to log out, log uh, suspend and so on. And uh, restarting and reloading is all good. That's these things. Stopping application is the thing we do most. Super Shift Q. Moving around has been explained in another tutorial, so you can check that out. Moving around workspaces in the same tutorial, like Super Tap and all that, Mod uh, Alt Tap, you know the shortcuts. Tiling, splitting, splitting horizontally, splitting vertically. Full screen is one I use a lot. These I do not use a lot, but I accidentally click on them. Resizing, not using them, but you can use the application or the, the little script that says here with super R, you can have a uh, resizing. The font is important, but I've made my choice um, coming from Antergos and, and Solos and Arch and Linux Mint. I have had, I think, 15 lines or so, and I know what my font is, so I've chosen this one. So you can change to whatever font you want there. This is assign an application to a workspace. Maybe you don't like that, what I do. So if you want to have Firefox anywhere you want, the only thing you need to do is just put hashtag in front here, same applies here, and they will open, Firefox will open on the workspace you're on. In my assignment here, in my setting, it is redirected redirected to the system to, to, to the workspace one and workspace two for all the text editors and so on so there's some structure in the madness and that's that's my way of working of course that's uh, my workflow and no need to follow it but here i say assign class firefox to 
uh, this workspace. By the way, how do you know the class of Firefox? There's a little program that's called Xprop. And you can hover over something and then you can figure out what the name is of uh, that thing. Xprop is... Uh, here it is. That's the class. So what did I do? I took the big one. So it's the last one that I have to take. And uh, just to be safe, you could maybe use atom small a as well, because you know that Linux is uh, sensible to that. But um, that's it. That's all you need to know. Figure out what's the name of a program and then say assign. If a window comes up with that name, that class, then assign it to two. So that's uh, done here. Execute applications at boot time, things you want to boot. So I want my Vivaldo to be there and I want it to be focused as well. So I directly go into all the tabs that are open. Uh, text editor, I have chosen to have Atom rather than Genie. Tunar is open. And since I assigned it to eight, Tunar, it's gonna open to in on the workspace eight. And that's how it works. Don't want my evolution. I'm still working everything online, so that's good. I do want my Spotify to start up or not. Uh, at this point in time, I'm not starting it up. So I could just change it because actually I do want to start it up because I always press Ctrl Alt S when I uh, restart. So better just boot it up from the start. This is needed for um, um, to get to, to know your root password. Some of the actions require that you are root. I like Pamac wants to update and he wants to know, hey, who are you? Give me your root password. So that's this one. And Pamac tray is loaded. Blueberry for my music. Network applet for the network. I have a keyboard with a separate numeric keypad. So I say, please put it on this numlock. Dropbox is synced, uh, in sync is synced, is started. Passes tray is not activated, hashtag out. I'm using volume icon at the moment. It's not even installed as well. Interesting for guys who have problems with uh, sound. You can't seem to get it to work. This has many more issue, many more um, possibilities, functionality than this one. Variety is the wallpaper, the clip man, and the conky. I don't want the conky. Conkies are not really uh, a thing in i3, but I've put it in there because when when it's the first time you start i3, you get to see how to quit, for instance, Super X. So um, there are a lot of keyboards, extensions. There is no menu in i3. So it can be frustrating if you never saw any tutorial and then start i3 and say, what the heck? That's why the conkey is there. Then we start up tuner as daemon just to be uh, to have a very fast tuner setup. Not sure if this is any faster, um, but it's it's there. XFCE power manager is for our sleeping of the of the system. The system, I mean, the screen that goes dark and and so on. What else? I've added this line now just for notifications on uh, Spotify and all that. You see these little uh, pop-ups telling you what song it is. Um, I've activated this one. Um, it's not yet on the Arch Merge, so I'll evaluate if it's any good, if it's better like this. Applications keyboard shortcuts, very interesting to read. So here are is a fun uh, thing. So catfish, for instance, the search thing is so strong. You can search in hidden files. You can search inside files. So this is how I work. This is a workflow, man. Um, without it, I can't do my work at arch much. Neither can I do it without Melt, another interesting program. So. You check out a lot of some of the things were in conflict with Arch Merge, so I did not add them. Since we're now on Arch Merged, you can activate them again and see if it works. So that's something you can do. I'm not missing them. 
workspace related um, okay meaning all the the mod f1 are the things that are going to pop up on workspace one so the browsers so browsers and text editors inkscape and gimp so this is again order in the chaos putting programs making shortcuts and then uh, these programs of applications will start on a workspace screenshots of course we want to share so there are screenshots there are some lines that are hashtagged out you can check out the program shutter if you want to so there's this just simple scroll thing and there is xfce and there is gnome all of them have their um well their functionality for me gnome screenshot is interesting because i can set it to take a screenshot in gpg you know i make the websites on arch merch so i need a very small images in kilobytes and it's all great when you do it in screen shooter or even in gnome screenshot they make it in png but it's a with du two dual screens it's two three megabytes it's too much so i need one of those to um, save it in gpg again this class thing so again with this xprop there are other there's another program as well is it x win i think it is Let's give it a try. Whoop. Let's see if it's um, Xwin in for something. That's another program. I'm not sure if it says the same. It, this is the one I sometimes use for the Compton.conf um, class input output. So, no, not for this, um, this tool. So, Xprop is okay. And then you decide if you want to have things floating, floating disable or floating enable. So you can say to a specific application like calculator. I don't know if I installed that one. Yep, I did. So it's floating. Otherwise it would look like this. You know what you like. Uh, do you like this one or do you like this one? I know what I like. So, okay, this is nicer. So that's why it's floating enabled. And a lot of things go the, in the same way. Okay, focused applications. Of course, I want my terminals to have focus immediately. And variety for your wallpapers. You know, I'm a fan and you'll be too once you start learning it. It's great. And having a Dropbox account to sync with Desktopper. Some audio settings. Back, backlight, I can't test this guys. It's for uh, laptops with uh, some lighting on their uh, keyboard. Maybe I'll can, be, able, be able to test it on my Mac laptop once I get rid of the Mac OS. Mm, border control, not so important. Pop-up control, i3 caps. This we have explained in another tutorial about the gaps, how to change the gaps. And we have explained as well this one in that tutorial. Compton we have explained as well in a separate tutorial. And all the bars and all that we have explained as well. Here as well you can say the font. What font you want and how big you want your toolbar to be. Because I'm on a large screen. So if you're on a smaller screen maybe you would like have 20 or so. So that's up to you to decide. Some coloring we've made. Uh, different tutorials about coloring too, I think and we've made a new one. I've made a red kind of look This is the normal look I think but it's um, a red one we made and We are at the end and all the rest is not used. So I leave it in these are things that are uh, That I used in the past, but that I decided not to use anymore or that are coming from i3 that I say nah it's not necessary to have those, it's, it's a bother or it's just not necessary. So okay, we went through all the codes, so now it's up to you to figure out what you want, change the code, uh, but always do a backup and then try making uh, changes. You'll see a red bar when you see a mistake, so you know you have to do Ctrl Z and then try again. Alright, enjoy.